Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve these given quadratic equations that have only two terms. So let's go ahead and take care of the very first quadratic equation over here. We want to solve for x. As you can see over here, this negative 6, I want you to move it to the right hand side. So we left with x squared on the left hand side and when you move this negative 6 on the other side is that becomes positive 6. So the next step is we want to get rid of this square. To undo that square we want to take the square root on both sides. So take the square root on both sides. As you can see this is square and square root they undo each other. So we left with only x equal to and here we got positive or negative square root of 6 or simply we can write as x equal to positive square root of 6 and the other one is x equal to negative square root of 6 as two solutions. So thus our solution set turns out to be one of the solution is x equal to square root of 6 and the other solution is x equal to negative square root of 6 and that is our answer. So let's move on to our next quadratic equation. Once again we want to do the same thing. We want to move this positive 10 on the other side. So we left with 2x square on the left hand side and we have a negative 10 on the right hand side. So this positive 10 when you move it on the other side become negative 10. So now I want you to get rid of this 2 that is multiplying. So we want to divide by 2 on both sides. As you can see this 2 and 2 these are gone. So we left with x square equal to negative 5. So far so good. And now we want to get rid of this square. How we can undo this square is by taking the square root on both sides. So this square and square root they undo each other. We simply got x equal to positive or negative i times square root of 5. So as you can see this i is called imaginary number and always remember that i is always equal to square root of negative 1. So whenever you have a negative sign inside this radical that is square root it always converts into an imaginary number. So thus our two solutions turns out to be x equal to positive i times square root of 5 and the other one is x equal to negative i times square root of 5. So thus our solution set turns out to be i times square root of 5 and the other one is negative i times square root of 5 and that is our answer. And as you can see that our answers involve the i imaginary number so that means we have no real solution so these are not real solution thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos